gentlemen. Let's talk about our brother, Dick Marks. Update on the GoFundMe. I I'm blown away at how this how this has gone. I, I never expected such a turnout. Every one of you, especially a handful of you, I think three of you, really just blew it out of the water. And, and I I don't I don't know how to react. I'm not familiar with such uh, kindnesses on my behalf. Um, I, I really, I, I don't know what to emote or how to emote. Um, thank you all, uh, for, for, from the deepest part of my cockles. Um, I couldn't have done this w without you, clearly, but you, you really, you really got my ass out of the fire on this one, and you didn't have to, and that's amazing. That's that. That's you know. That's that's so much better than any carnal indulgence. So we're going to move forward and see if we can get to the penultimate goal that is now set. If I do not, I've been looking around and I do at this point have enough money for a sizable down payment on a newer, albeit still used, vehicle. Again, may God smile upon all of you that contributed to this. Thank you so much for, for blessing me with this, this kindness, this generosity that by no means did I deserve. I've done nothing for any of you, but you, you came through. And I am truly grateful and humbled for what you have done. Thank you so much. That was our brother Dick Marks about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And even then, you can tell by the coloring on his face and hands that he was in renal failure. And he was having some pretty serious issues, life life-threatening issues. And... When he reached out to me to ask if I could help, if there was something that I could do, I reached out to you, you, and together you all brought up 13, what, $14,000. You got Dick out of the street. You got him into reliable transportation. And although we can't take every single person out here that needs something, and hoist them above everyone else when it's one of our own when we know that it's one of our own we go out of our way to help those men because nobody else will nobody gives a fuck about us except us and I always say us it's us when my channel succeeds it's us when the channel fails when it's taken down or deleted it's somebody working against us. That's not our failure. That's more proof that we succeed because they have to suppress us. The last year, maybe year and a half of Dick's life here, because of you, because of you, because of the things that you did, the kindnesses that you showed, he spent in a much better place than I would say a majority of his last few years. His body's gone, but his spirit's here. His channel's up, you know. Even if the channel goes down, the goodnesses and the kindnesses that you demonstrated towards Mr. Marx is a reflection of who you are. And that's why you get taken advantage of as much as you do. That's why so many people come after men 
because men are trained and conditioned to be generous to their death in spite of themselves. But this wasn't a spiteful thing that you did for Dick. This was a great thing that you did for Dick. Mr. Marx will be remembered. He'll be remembered like Paul Proteus. He'll be remembered like Vention Migtow. He'll be remembered like Renegade One. He'll be remembered like David Carroll, like so many others. If I didn't mention your favorite, don't be offended. There's too many of our fellas that are falling by the wayside. Their judgment, their reason, their common sense, their logic is desperately needed in a world that demonstrates none of that. Mr. Marks was a good fella. And we are all going down that road one day at a time, one hour at a time. And it's not to be mourned. It's uh, to be congratulated. As far as I'm concerned, it's because of you, you right there, that the last year and a half of his life or so was spent in reasonable comfort. Does it make up for a horrible life? No, no, it doesn't. But it shows that you guys have within you what it takes to be good and decent people for yourselves. And when you choose to embrace another person, put them in your circle, they're going to live better because of it. Rest in peace, Mr. Marks. Rest in peace, brother. 